Hello, I'm Maureen Curry, and I'm the instructor for RF 110, Ancient to the Middle Ages, Prehistoric Art to Gothic Cathedrals. Uh, I'm welcoming you to the course with this video. just want to say hello, and we're ready to get going tomorrow, Monday. Uh, each week, you're, you can find your assignments on Blackboard. I'm on the course homepage right now. There's a little course description there. Uh, also, if you, there's a little bit about my background there. There's a, another video that if you need further uh, uh, suggestions of how to navigate the Blackboard course, there's an older video there which should give you a lot of the information you need to find uh, where to find uh, those written assignments and the readings and so forth for the course. And also the syllabus is uh, also included on the course homepage. So you can read it and there's also a copy you can document, you can download and you can look for the requirements of the course. I do want to point out there is a recommended textbook which is uh, Kleiner's Art Through the Ages. Uh, be sure to get Volume 1. Uh, it's a Western perspective, so Art Through the Ages, Kleiner. Uh, any edition will work. It gives you a background, so you can find a lot of used editions that are a lot cheaper. Uh, and sometimes there are digital editions. So uh, please read uh, the title of the book in the syllabus and try to get yourself some copy. Remember, you must get Volume 1, or the other one, it won't cover the period we're covering. Uh, as far as navigating the course further, be sure you go to the left-hand side. We were on the home page. Uh, there will be announcements each week that uh, gives you updates as to what to expect. I'm going to try to do some virtual me meetings, so be on the lookout for that as well, where I might ask you to research a work of art and then show up at the virtual meeting prepared to discuss the work of art and what you learned about it. In addition, each week you click on the learning modules and that will take you to all the resources you need to find the readings. Um, let me see if it'll go again. A little slow. So here's week one. It tells you to click here for introduction for art uh, before history uh, and some other uh, lecture resources. There's a PowerPoint if you click there. There's some readings right on the top here. Get you right into what is art history and to be thinking about art. Uh, in addition, um, then if you click on week uh, one, Art Before History, you'll find the, uh, the call for discussion board, work you have to do, and a written assignment. So right now I'll click on it, but it seems to be a little slow going over there. And so this is uh, Art Before History, and you can find your uh, PowerPoint here that will help you and some other readings that gives you uh, background on what we're covering this week. Each week it's very important to go to the Discussions tab. There will be a discussion board assignment, sometimes two, depending on how, much, how many works of art we have to cover. And this is um, week one here. You'll introduce yourself for part one and tell your, uh, about your background uh, to the class, whatever you want to do. You can even upload a video if you, you'd like to talk about your life or show us some particular uh, interest or hobby or what you do, might do with art. Then in part two, you'll have to uh, research these works of art that are provided here and find out about the background. And then by Thursday midnight, you have to post your initial response to the discussion board. This requires you to uh, provide substantial research. Part one is just an introduction, but in this case, part two, you must do research on these works of art and then answer the prompt. Um, there are, uh, if you don't have the book right away, please get started. I uh, suggest... Uh, posting early and often to the discussion board. The discussion board is where we build a community. It's a heart and soul of our class. It's where we get to know each other uh, and start to tell each other what we found out about the works of art. And the ones who didn't have time, they'll learn from us. So it's going to be our learning community. But I really want you to post often. I want you to respond to each other. If somebody asks you a question, please answer that question. So by Saturday midnight, I expect um, Thursday midnight, you have to have your initial post up. That's, and then by Saturday midnight, you have to have two, a minimum of two response postings for full credit for the week on the discussion boards. So there will be readings there to help you uh, understand the works of art if you don't have your books. And there are other places, uh, museum sites, you can uh, research the art and so forth. So each week there will be a discussion board with different works of art. We'll research and share that information. So remember, the discussion board is how your attendance is taken, and it's how we share our learning as a community. So for now, I think that's a good introduction, and I look forward to uh, working with you beginning tomorrow um, at, uh, on Blackboard, uh, San Diego 
Community College District Blackboard site. I think you should all know how to log in. If not, there's certainly plenty of uh, resources, and even in our page, if you can get to our site, there's resources. So I will be uh, available to you anytime you have questions. Please email me at mcurry at sdccd.edu. It's Maureen Curry. I'm your instructor. And please, I highly recommend that you get the, the book Art Through the Ages by Kleiner. Uh, any edition will help you to do some background reading and look at the images of the art because that's how you see the details and, and learn about them. Well, I'm wishing you all the best for much success in the course. If you have any concerns, please uh, get in touch with me anytime. All the best to you.